everyone, welcome to another Plutonium Guy Plus video. Today I am in Roblox Car Crushers 2, as you guys can probably tell. And you guys are probably wondering, why are all your Row 2 things bonus crushers? It's because I just unlocked them. Today, I am showing you guys how to get more scraps and more parts in Car Crushers without having to do as much work. So, for scraps, they're really the only way to do that to get faster is do all your bonus crushers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I have these five brand new bonus crushers. Bonus crushers give you 20% more money and 50% more scraps. If you're wondering what scraps do, they allow you to modify your car, make it faster, give it a better engine, put a plow and stuff like that on the front. It also allows you to play in these wonderful competitions, which I'm doing now. Um, I got um, 82 parts there. Um, normally, I would not have gotten that many. Obviously, that's what a bonus crusher does. But you know, I got that much this time, so we're all good. My car will not drive. There we go. The Honda Civic does not like to accelerate on these side things, I've noticed. So you know what? It's all good. And see, the magnet right here, um, I've heard good things about this car crusher, and I've also heard bad things. I have heard that you can make your car go super fast by glitching with it, and I've also heard that it doesn't do hardly anything. So we're going to see what it does, guys. We're going to see how good its scraps are. Um, when you destroy a car, you also just get parts every time. That did nothing there. Wow. I, I'm starting to believe the bad things about this. Okay, there we go. But the parts allow you to get more crushers. So the more parts you have, the more ways you can just demolish your car. Um, the first 10,000 parts, you only use row one. And then the first, or, and then the next, I think 10,000 it is, you have row two. So really, parts are just a way to unlock more crushers. But it's also kind of fun to just grind for parts. Like, nobody's going to argue with parts in this game. Um, so you can see it costs... 250,000, not, no, 250,000, 25,000 parts to get into those next ones, but it costs 10,000 to get into these, so the first ones are free, the next ones cost, I think, 5,000, then it's 250,000, not 250,000, I keep saying it wrong, then it's 10,000, then 250,000, and that was amazing, I love that one, we're gonna go ahead and spawn the next car that I just got, and don't worry guys, I'm getting to showing you guys how to get parts faster, don't worry. Um, see, row one, that's actually perfect. The way to get parts fast in row one, if all you have is row one, I would recommend two different crushers. The first one is the freezer. Boom shakalaka. Looks kind of pathetic when you first drive in, but then you hit the old quick enable crusher, and look at how many parts it's getting you. It's, it's getting you 12 already, and it's hardly done anything. I have died here. I don't know how I died behind the freezer, but the faster, or not the faster, the more you use it, the faster you get the parts. Um, that's usually how that works. Yeah, I don't know why that needed to be said, but it did. Um, the parts are really just easier to get when you use strategy and stuff like that. So, the freezer is one good way. It didn't get as much as I thought it normally does, um, but it still gets you pretty good ones. And then the other one is the sawmill. If you have a bigger style car, it'll work better than the one I'm about to show you, but it still gets you parts decently fast. Like, the first real quick already got 60, 70, 80, 80 parts. So, again, not too terribly many, but when you're grinding for 10,000, you'd be surprised how much 80 actually is. Um, so, row one on the left side, I've shown you those two. The, pretty much all of them, with the exception of the speed crash test and the nature pit, get you a decent amount on the other one. Like, the slicer is a little tricky, so I wouldn't recommend trying to do that one. But, Especially like the pillar crusher gets you a good amount of parts if you can time it right like you just turn on quick enable And it does really well like it just spanks the car um, My car is too short to get spanked by the top ones But if I hit it with the bottom ones, that's 50 parts and I did half the car So if it's 50 parts for half the car, then it's gonna be a hundred for the whole car quick math I know that was just so brain. I'm very good at that brain kind of thing not actually but you know It's all good, and, you know see another 28 parts so parts it's a slow process, but if you put in a, just a little bit of work, you get a lot of returns. So it's it's a returns work kind of thing, like the more you put in, the more you get out, like most things are. But particularly this thing in row two right here, this one gets you a lot of parts. You shred it right here. I have seen this before on other YouTube videos and other things like that. It gets you a lot of parts. A lot of parts. See, 81, 83. So, 80, 88. Okay. 89. Let's see, is it going to get me another one? 94, 98, 101. So, really doesn't seem like that many, but if you just leave it sitting in there, you're going to get parts a lot faster. So, that one takes a little patience, but in the end, it's pretty well worth it, I would say. Let's uh, see, that's row one. And then, the other one in row two, 
that gets you a lot of parts is the magnet one, believe it or not. Um, it, if you keep doing it repeatedly, the up and down, the up and down, the up and down, and all that good stuff, you will eventually get a bunch of parts. See, um, see, so just keep bonking my truck. See, I didn't die there, which is a little confusing, but you know, it's, it's the parts grind, and I didn't die on the parts grind, so that's good. Um, see, so back to scraps. Anyway, I've already said the bonus crushers, actually, so that's the only really way to get scraps. Um, I'm gonna use some scraps, actually. I'm on my Honda Civic. I have a decent number. Actually, there's a core explosion, so I'm gonna go ahead and survive that. I believe that that gets you parts as well, so that's good. I'm gonna use my fancy-dancy police officer car. You know, Woo! I'm actually turning that off. Somewhere outside row three. That is a convenient place because I am right near it. See, escaping this nice core thing. I'd see, uh, 125 credits and a decent chunk of money. So it's not get you parts or scraps, but it does get you money and credits. Credits are also basically like the other part of scraps. Like if you have scraps, you're good, but you can also use credits on everything that costs scraps, I believe. See, there's a nice little helicopter right here. Um, if you saw my previous Car Crushers video, I did not escape the helicopter escape death crash whatever you want to call it so that's not good but this one i've already i'm already locked i'm escaping this one so you know what let's get hyped for that um you know that i'm only one of two right now actually one of three now that dude has a very fancy car and he is the guy that did that see he has premium access and he's a skill crusher and also has a very fancy schmancy car see i have another dude who's got the bacon hair on it doesn't look like he's got much other than in this game but you know what it's whatever it doesn't matter you can be good at a game without having purchased things with real money. Five seconds left. Is that person going to get here? Come on. Hurry up. All right. We're good. Run. Run. Oh, no. He's not going to make it. Oh, that's really sad. Oh, he got in. Oh, shoot. Okay, guys. I know that this, this video is about parts and scraps. I pretty much showed you all the ways to do that. Um, money grinding is also pretty easy to do in this game. Like, this is a great way to grind money, honestly. You just join a bunch of servers and hope that someone does the nuke thing. See, I got a car right there, and I hardly did any work. See, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I will see everybody in my next video either way. Bye!